We're going to talk about the defenses and elements of criminal law today. So let's start first with the elements. Elements must exist for a person to be convicted of a crime. So number one, actus rea and mens rea. So let's start first with mens rea. Mens rea is a specified state of mind or intent on the part of the actor. So kung bala ko magnakaw, that's mens rea. Pero hindi ko ginawa. That, can, uh, that cannot be a criminal liability. Kailangan may actus rea para gawin ko. Okay? So state of intent, the mind, mens rea, and actus rea. Okay? The act of the crime. So why are these two elements needed? Bakit hindi pwedeng actus rea na lang? I'll discuss this now later because I'll discuss that now later bakit hindi pwedeng actus rea na lang because we're gonna talk about the defenses of a crime. Is there a defense of a crime na may actus rea at walang mens rea? So pwede bang gumawa ng act pero wala naman yun sa intention ko? Right? Actus rea without mens rea. So we're gonna talk about now the defenses of a crime. So I have an acronym here called CL minimized or for you to um for you to memorize that let's call it criminal liability minimized okay kasi defense nga di ba so criminal liability minimized CL minimized so on my left side on my left side here on the powerpoint presentation i bulleted CL minimized let's start first with C C stands for consent. Ang labo, di ba? So, is there a consent para magnakaw? Nasabihin ko, kukonsentihin kita magnakaw? May ganun ba? Well, that is rarely a defense. But a good example here is forgery. So, forgery meaning forging a signature that is not yours. So, forgery is a crime, right? But... A good example here, for example, taga Pangasinan, Pangasinan ako. Tapos, kuya ko, taga Baguio. May kailangan akong pinumahan sa Pangasinan, ay sa Baguio. Eh, wala ako sa Baguio. I mean, Pangasinan. So, pwede kong sabihin sa kuya ko, kuya, hindi ako makapunta sa Pang sa Baguio. Hindi ko mapinumahan yung kontrata. I-forge mo na lang signature ko. Pwede ba yon? Yes. Right? Because there's consent of my brother to forge my signature. Alright? So, it's rarely a defense, but pwedeng mangyari. Limitations. Ano itong limitations? Okay. Let's say theft. Ang ninakaw ko, ballpen. Magkano ba ang ballpen? Sampung piso, benteng piso. Should I report that? Babaliwala yan lang yun ng police. So, according to our law, I'm not sure how much, but there is a... Uh, amount, a certain amount, which you can report for theft. Pag ballpen lang ninakaw mo, eraser, walang kwenta yon. Pero for example, nagnakaw ako ng jewelry. Mamahalin yon. you can see, you can sue now the, the thief. Okay? Pwede mong kasuhan yung magnanakaw kapag ninakaw na yung jewelry nyo. Pero pag ballpen, syempre wala yon. Another example for limitations. Time limitations. Someone stole my jewelry. Ni-report ko after 35 years. <laughs> Pero diba? But after 35 years mo ni-report, hindi yung papansinin, okay? So, criminal defense is limitations, okay? Next. Mm -hmm, where's my slide? Mental insanity, okay? So, this is a good example of actus rea without mens rea. If a person is mentally insane, tapos nagnakaw siya, Nagnako siya, for example, ng... Or nag-vandalize siya. So, eh, mentally insane siya eh. So, was there a state of intent to vandalize? Wala, kasi wala siya sa tamang pag-iisip. But there is a performance of an act. There is there is a prohibited act. So, actus rea. Pero, walang mens, mens rea because there is no... Hindi na naman intention yun eh, di ba? Because he's mentally insane, Okay. So that could be a defense for for criminals. Next, infancy. 
Infancy depends on the age of criminal liability. Liability de depending on our on the country. I think in our country, I think it's fifteen or thirteen years old. I'm not sure. But here, bakit may infancy? Kapag kapag ang seven, kapag ang five year old boy pumunta sa toy store at nagnakaw ng gamit, pwede pong kasuhan yung bata? No. Bakit? Kasi wala siya sa tamang pag-iisip. Okay? Hindi niya alam na, itong five-year-old boy, hindi niya alam na kailangan palang bayaran yung laruan. Okay? So there's Actus Rhea, but then, the state of mind na kailangan niya palang bayaran, hindi niya alam na crime yung, hindi niya alam na masama pala kumuha ng toys sa toy store. Kailangan niya palang bayaran yun. Alright? Next, necessity. A criminal act was necessary to prevent a greater harm. Ano example nito? Tatlo tayo. There's a killer, nanay ko, ako. This killer is pointing a gun to my mom. So me, what I can do now in order to prevent this murder, I could kill now this killer. It's not self-defense because my mom cannot defend herself and I'm not defending myself. Hindi siya self-defense. I'm defending my mom. So necessity, in order to prevent this murder, or murder, I have to kill, I have to kill the criminal. Alright? So that is necessity. A criminal act was necessary to prevent a greater harm. Next, intoxication, intoxication lasing ka. Alright? So there's actus rea without mens rea. Bakit? Pag lasing ka, wala ka sa tamang, tamang pag-iisip. Your state of mind. Right? Mens rea, there's no mens rea, pero merong actus rea. So in there's a prohibited act. So intoxication could be another criminal defense. M, mistake. This mistake is good. For example, I have a classmate. Ako, tsaka si Juan. Parehas kami ng bag ni Juan. So, by mistake, nakuha ko yung bag ni Juan. Sabi ni Juan, that's theft, you're getting my bag. Ako naman, I could defend myself. No, wait, we have the same bag. I thought this was my bag. Parehas tayo ng looks eh. So this was a mistake of fact, alright? So that could be a criminal, another criminal defense. Next, immunity. Itong immunity, napapalun nyo to sa mga series eh. Alright? So, granting immunity to a criminal in exchange for information. A lot of a lot of instances happens in series in case of immunity. For example, ako ay isang drug pusher. Tapos, I'm under a drug lord. This drug pusher na, ako nahuli ako. Nahuli ako ng police. Sabi ng police, sige, I will grant you immunity, will lessen your charges. Report mo lang sa akin kung sino yung drug lord mo. Kung sino yung source ng drug lord mo. Pwede pa ka namin palayain. Okay? Report mo lang kung sino yung boss mo. So of course ako, that could be a defense of criminal liability. Sige, wag nyo akong ano, kulungin. O gawin nyo lang 3 years yung, gawin nyo lang 6 months yung ano ko, jail time ko. I'll report kung sino yung boss ko. Okay? Granting immunity in exchange for criminal information. Self-defense, of course, that's self-explanatory. Entrapment. What is entrapment? Again, you watch this in movies and series in, that you watch. Entrapment is, if I'm a police officer, I disguise myself, for example, as a, <clears throat> as a drug user, right? In order to catch in order to catch, for example, a drug pusher or a drug lord. So what I can do now, in order to entrap a drug lord, I can commit a crime, which is buying drugs in order to find out who is the drug pusher or the drug lord. So entrapment yon. okay? A lot of police authorities and government officials do that. And lastly, jurist. Wrongful threat of a person to perform an act that she or would not otherwise perform. A good example here, na nakidnap for example yung nanay ko. Okay? 
sabi ng mga kidnappers, papalayain ko yung nanay mo. Just rob this bank. So ako, that's under duress. Okay? Do I want to rob a bank? No. Okay? I will not perform that. But do I have to rob a bank? Well, it's it's not under, I don't like to do it, but I have to do it in order to free my mom para mapapalaya nila yung anak ko. Okay? So, Jores, wrongful threat of a person to perform that act that she or she, that he or she would not otherwise perform. Alright? So, these are the defenses for criminal law. So, take take note of our acronym, Criminal Liability CL Minimized. So, if you understand that, I have a case study for you. So, stalking. Is stalking a crime? Well, U.S. National Center for Victims of Crime said, Stalking is virtually any unwanted contact between two people or more that directly or indirectly communicates a threat or places the victim in fear. So why is this? Sorry for this one. So why is this a crime? Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. So why is this a crime? So I'm using a MacBook, so don't worry about th that one. So why is this a crime? Well, stalking. Is there mens rea? Of course, I want to follow a person. Is there actus rea? Yes. Why? Kasi, yung act of following a person, fina-follow kita sa work mo, kahit saan ka pumunta, pag nag-mall ka sa friends mo, nandun ako. Diba? Nandun ako eh. Sinusundan kita. I'm stalking you. Pumunta ka sa bahay, alam ko yung address mo sa bahay. Alam ko kung nasaan saan ka nagsisimba. Sinusundan kita doon. Alam ko saan ka nagsiskool. Kung saan ka nagtatrabaho. Lagi itang tinastalk. And of course, you're in fear. So, stalking is really a crime, alright? So, because there's actus rea and mens rea. However, here's my question. Is stalking a crime even if the defendant proves that there was no physical or harmful threat to the victim? Okay? Ako, pinafollow ko, for example, isang person. E sabi ng person is pinafollow ko, you're stalking me. Everywhere I go, everywhere I go, Nandun ka. Pag pumunta ako sa school, paglabas ko ng school ng gate, nandun ka. Sinusundan mo ako pag uwi ko. Uh, pag pupunta ako sa grocery, nandun ka. You're stalking me. Ang pwede kong defense, take lang. Harm you. There's no physical or harmful threat to the victim. Why are you suing me for criminal liability? Okay? So, is it really a crime? So kindly post your answers below and subscribe. Alright, so see ya!